ocean liners and cruise ship. One being known for the Titanic disaster and one being known as a giant floating bathtub. They're also known for creating many giant tsunamis near the shore. Now on this video, we will be seeing the visual differences between a cruise ship and an ocean liner. Not interior wise, not like the difference between the interiors of ocean liners and cruise ships because that will be a little bit difficult to explain. So we will be only focusing on the bow and the stern and I'll be explaining the general purpose of an ocean liner and a cruise ship. Not many people know this but ocean liners and cruise ships have different bow lengths. The lengths of the bow of the cruise ship Carnival Vista and the ocean liner Artemis Queen Mary 2 have different bows. As you can clearly see, the bow lengths are completely different on each one and you can also clearly see that there's a wave breaker at the very front of Queen Mary and on the Carnival Cruise Line ship, the Vista doesn't have one. Cruise ships prioritize on sailing on calm waters. You can rarely even see them sailing on rough waters. Why is this? To put it simply, the rough waters would totally tear the ship apart. As you can see on this video, the ship rocking back and forth and tables flying everywhere. It's a huge, huge difference and a huge reason why they don't sail at all at rough weather. Queen Mary, however, can handle these storms pretty well especially this one a cruise ship in this type of storm would instantly rock back and forth extremely hard possibly injuring a few people on board but queen mary being built as an ocean liner and has a stronger hull and has a bow built for breaking through waves she is almost indestructible against any storm Another visual difference between a cruise ship and an ocean liner is that the back of a cruise ship looks like a back of a shoebox, while meanwhile on Queen Mary 2's stern looks more like a traditional ocean liner stern. The original purpose of a cruise ship was for during the prohibition period of 1930 or somewhere around that period, they were meant to be booze cruise ships. But nowadays, you can mostly find them as floating hotels. But they still do have, you know, beer in them, of course. But hey, that's my opinion because I remember reading that from somewhere. So yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.